trying to read English. Well, can I just say that um, Barbara, as he likes to be known, <laughs> um, for obvious reasons, um, was a very difficult child, um, very yeah. great learning difficulties. Um, you can only see Janet until the age of 12, and then graduated to Janet and John. Um, his reading skills improved because he got onto book two by the time he left school. So. But I would say that you have to give him plenty of time to mould into a position. Um, he's one of these that, you know, thinks he knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> Plays bowls like he knows everything. <laughs> But no, you give him time, and he, he, he will. You, you've, got to, you've got to admit that his age is a. Is a oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you admit, that, sir, that he is special needs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. He's an idiot. <laughs> what would you were saying to describe him? Name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no words to describe him. No words to describe him, okay. Well, I'd ask for my case. I think, uh, thank you for, uh, would the uh, prosecutor like to ask any questions to my meeting? I think my case has just been proved by the fact he says there are no words to describe him. <laughs> it means that everything that the witness has said is null and void. He's been trying to describe something that there are no words to describe, Your Honour. <laughs> Go! Oh, do away with it! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I would like also to uh, uh, call upon another witness because I think this case, this case, I plead upon you to think of my pure client. I know he's an idiot. He can't help being an idiot. But of his character, there is no question. He is upstanding, a character of great, great upstanding. And I will talk on my next.